Well, hey there, YouTube is Speedy Two Finger, and I was just talking to my my pal TJ. I'll call him, and he was. Uh, I mentioned that I enjoy reading Tape Op magazine. So if you haven't subscribed to Tape Op, it's free, and this is a bi-monthly American recording magazine. It focuses on creative recording techniques, so it's typically interviews founded by Larry Crane in 1996. And I, I remember when Tape Op was founded. Based out of Portland, they interview um, producers, engineer types um, who have worked on all of the greatest classical rock, classic rock, and uh, etc., other styles of music recordings so this is a, a really interesting magazine it's free <clears throat> and if you subscribe they mail you a free you get six issues of tape op delivered digitally to your inbox and a good old paper magazine to your physical mailbox if you live in the u.s so this is a free music magazine delivered to your door this will give you uh, some bathroom reading and it can turn you on to some stuff that you didn't know about so uh, one of the things that I wanted to look up in tape op was this preamp um, would you grab me those tape op magazines darling Ooh, here's a, there's a preamp advertised in there, and they uh, they comment on its affordav affordability, and um, it looks like it's built into a 1590 uh, BB size enclosure, and it's purple. I can't remember the name of the preamp, but I was curious to. Yeah, I'm just getting my tape out magazines handed to me, and let me flip through this. You can tell I always come prepared to a video. Here's an article with Harry Connick Jr. And that's going to be uh, the main feature of this video. We're going to be talking about a new instrument, which is called the Harpeggi. And that's produced by the Marcotti Company, which is a family business. And they're building a new instrument. It's a, it's a stringed instrument that's kind of a... It's like a flattened out war guitar. Uh, it's a touch instrument. Although, of course, you could... You could just as soon pluck it. <clears throat> and I'm, go, I'm moving on to my second... Tape Op magazine in search of this preamp. I may actually have to remake this video. There's an article with Steve Perry from Journey. He's a studio rat, that guy. Mario J. Uh, McNulty, that's a really, uh, well, I enjoyed that article quite a bit, I should say. He, he did some uh, Hornet. McNulty did, did the, the Nelson album uh, that came out recently. Useful Arts Hornet. It's not purple. It's blue. In this picture, the way they color graded it, it almost looks purple. Look at that, it takes 48, a 48 volt power supply. How much, eh, how much is the Hornet cost? And they don't tell you. The idea behind the Hornet is simple. Give people an affordable preamp 
DI that can go toe to toe with any of the thousand dollar plus preamps on the market. After years of development, it's here. Ultra low noise front end gives signal the creamy thickness, bite, and power that built in pre's on interfaces just don't deliver like dedicated preamps. Need an even thicker, more powerful sound? Just dial in the color control and the personality of the signal is enhanced without the need for compression or EQ. That sounds really, really cool. A, an, an, a custom Cinemag input transformer, a JFET DI, even at 60 dBs of gain, it's insanely quiet. The Hornet is tiny, but don't let that fool you, because I'm sure it's SMT. It's perfectly capable of serving as the front end of the choice, even in the best studios. That color knob, that is really cool. Really cool. And I like this. Useful Arts, you're not kidding. That is such a cool preamp. I would love to get my hands on one of these. Useful Arts Hornet. What's going What's on, y'all? I want to give you my review, review of, of the Useful, useful Arts, Arts Hornet. Hornet. Just, just... So it's three hundred dollars. I was hoping so much it would be around twenty. <laughs> so yeah, in this Harry Connick Jr. article, uh, they talk about there he is. There's the Marcotti guy. Look at that. Stevie Wonder can jam on it. He's never played it. <laughs> He's good. He's good at it. <laughs> Almost sounds like a uh, harpsichord right there. And again, this would all depend on your playing style and what you've got it plugged into but if you want to head over to marcodi.com and check out some information and some more uh, video on the harpeggi it's an interesting story make sure you watch this one tim tells the story uh videos yeah so this is really neato, interesting stuff that was too good for me to not look up. It took me quite a long time to actually, like every time that I saw Harry Connick Jr.'s face in that magazine, there's a full page of his face, I'm just wanting to slap it of his smugness. Uh, I would think, oh, there's that weird instrument in that article, and I've got to remember when I get off this toilet to go and type Harpeggi into the Google search bar. And it took me a while to get that goal accomplished. Uh, I wanted to thank my, my pal TJ for the phone call the other day. I really enjoyed that. And uh, let's together learn more about the Harpeggi. It's pretty cool stuff. Maybe they'll send me one for free. Reminds me, I've, I have to, I've got to email Ola Strandberg and beg him to send me a free guitar again. <laughs> 